Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. We are about to talk about makeup today. I know that may sound a little weird because y'all know that is pretty much what my channel is, is a makeup beauty channel. But if you have been watching my videos recently for the past, especially for the past like almost year, I want to say, I haven't really been doing like a ton of makeup content like I used to. And that's because I don't see anything in the stores that just like really catches my attention. And I'm always leaning towards those everyday natural looks. That's basically what I am all about right now. And I love it. Like I love doing a simple glam, like what I have on today, nothing too over the top. And I'm usually just reaching for the same products. And that's probably why I haven't really been doing like a lot of makeup content lately is because I'm always reaching for the same thing. And I don't wanna bore you guys with the same products in every video. Um, so what I want to do today is just go over the products that I've been loving recently, the ones that are currently in my vanity that I always reach for every time that I do my makeup. So I did clean out my vanity drawer and I just kind of put in some products that I know I wanted to focus on for the fall and also winter because I'm trying to use these up to be completely honest with you guys. Like I want to hit pan and that's the plan and that rhymed. But yes, girl, these are my current favorite everyday makeup products. Some of them are fairly new, but since I've been trying them out, they have definitely become a favorite of mine. So I'm excited to share these with you guys. So go ahead, get a snack, get you a drink, get comfortable, and let's get into it. I'm gonna go in the order of how I do my makeup. And I think I wanna go ahead and link um, a couple of my like everyday makeup tutorials down below in the description if you guys are new because I'm pretty sure you guys are going to ask for a tutorial on what I have on today but I actually have quite a few videos that are similar to this. it's just different products that I have on my face but as far as like the the concept <laughs> I promise you there is a look like this on my channel so if I can find it I will have it linked down below um, you guys can always search Andrea Renee everyday makeup on the YouTube search bar and all of my everyday makeup looks will pop up on the page or even if it's not like an everyday makeup look, I'm pretty sure it'll be like an everyday, like kind of like a video like this where I'm just sharing my everyday current faves or something like that. But it will pop up if you want to do that. But anywho, let's talk about primers. Now I know I mentioned this one in a recent favorites video, but this one I wanted to keep in my vanity because I have been absolutely loving it. But yes, girl, it's the NARS Soft Matte Primer. And I put this usually just like in my T-zone because I'm oily right there. So if you, you know, have never seen any of my videos, if you don't know what skin type I have, I have combination skin. Um, so yeah, I've been liking this for my T-zone. If you have oily skin, I think you'll really like this as well. I've used this in several tutorials. Um, and just like I said a minute ago about like searching things on YouTube, if you ever want to see anything that I mentioned in a video, you can just always type in Andrea Renee and then whatever the product is, um, on the YouTube search bar, then the videos, you know, it should pop up on the search page if I featured that product or if I did a makeup tutorial on that product. But yes, love this primer. It's been in my vanity and I've been using it nonstop ever since I tried it out. This next primer, so this is fairly new to me, but y'all, I have been loving it. It's the Fashion Fair. If you didn't know, Fashion Fair is back and it is sold at Sephora. So I've done a full video on some of the Fashion Fair products that I purchased. If you guys wanna see that video, I will have it linked down below in the description. But yes, Fashion Fair, this is the, uh, it's called the Flex, no, the Skin Flex, Found. no, this is the foundation stick. Wait a minute, I thought I pulled out the primer, but this is another one that I'm gonna talk about. <laughs> I thought I pulled out the primer. Let me go get it. Okay, we back, y'all. We back. <laughs> okay, yeah. So it's the Fashion Fair Skin Priming Serum. If you've ever tried the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Primer, this is really similar to it, but this does get a little tacky on the skin. It's not like super duper tacky like the Milk Hydra Grip, if you guys have um, tried that primer out. It just has a nice little subtle tackiness to the skin which allows you know your makeup to um wear nicely throughout the day so your foundation can really stick to it but it's not super duper sticky i like it because it's hydrating it makes my skin look good under my makeup and it also makes the makeup look really really good so yeah i would say it's kind of similar to the fenty hydrating primer so if you like that primer then you may like this it's just a little bit more tacky on the skin but 
Love, love, love this primer. It's what I have on today too, by the way. Um, foundation. So the foundation I have been wearing ever since I pulled it out of my collection to use it in a video. What video was that? I think it was like my fall video, fall makeup tutorial, or like my, it was a video, it was a makeup tutorial that I uploaded recently and that was like pre-recorded. So ever since I pulled it back out of my collection, I've been using it nonstop every time I do my makeup, whether that's on camera or you know, not on camera. And it is the Pat McGrath Foundation. Y'all, I forgot how good this foundation was, y'all. I just say y'all like too many times. <laughs> but this is such a beautiful foundation. It's very, very skin-like. Like if you want your makeup to look like skin, like you don't have on any foundation, but you do have on foundation, this is it. It's a little pricey, but it's worth it. In my opinion, it's beautiful on the skin. And I've done several videos on my channel using this foundation if y'all wanna check them out. But yeah, it's the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. Beautiful. It's what I have on today too. I forgot to spray my face now that I'm looking at it. I totally forgot to spray my face with my um, dewy spray from Tatcha because it looks a little powdery right now. That's okay because I have to film after this video, so I'm just gonna spray my face after I get done. But yes, love this foundation. Really, really pretty on the skin. So if you haven't tried Pat McGrath, highly recommend her foundation and her concealer too. That's another product I haven't used in a while that I might need to just go ahead and pull out and start using. But the foundation is good and I am gonna use and abuse that throughout the whole season. Of all back to the fashion fair foundation stick so yeah this is called the skin fix foundation stick and I use the shade brown sugar babe so this foundation stick since I've been using it I know I tried it out for the first time with you guys on camera but ever since I filmed that video every time I do my makeup I'm using this foundation this is what I have on today too so I have a little bit of this on with um, actually I have this on the center of my face and the Pat McGrath around the perimeter of my face even though I can use this all over the face and I can also use Pat McGrath all over the face I just kind of like to mix products because I mean they're there they're sitting in front of me why not use them both <laughs> but yes I have been enjoying this foundation stick. So between this and the cream to powder foundation, I think that's what they call it. It's I also use that in the fashion fair video, but between those two, this one is my favorite. This gives me a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful natural finish. Um, what foundation stick does this remind me of? Cause I know some of you are gonna ask and I wanna know which one that I have in my collection that is similar to this. Um, just to kind of compare, cause I really don't think this is similar to any other ones that I have in my collection. I mean, they are a little similar, but just to kind of compare, if you've tried the Minted Foundation Stick, um, this is just as creamy as the Minted Foundation Stick, but the Minted is more dewy on the skin. So if you're wanting more of a satin natural finish, this is gonna give you that light. For sure, for sure. This is so pretty and natural on the skin. It's almost like you don't have foundation on, but you do. So yeah, this is really, really, really natural, really lightweight too. So really nice. Um, so this is another favorite of mine. Um, concealers. So the Lancome Teeny Doll Ultra Wear Concealer. This is also, okay. I have a lot of these products on my face right now because I mean, they were in my vanity. So obviously <laughs> I have them on, but this is another product that I have on my face right now. This is in the shade Sue W. This is a good concealer if you wanna use it as a foundation too, which I've done on my channel if y'all missed that video. So remember just type in Andrea Renee, Lancome concealer and the video should pop up on the page. But this is such a good concealer. It's a full coverage concealer too. And one thing I will say about it since I've been using it more now, and that's another thing, when I start using products more and more, I feel like I learn new things about the product and I've discovered like new things. <laughs> but um, I find that when I use a little bit of this concealer, it actually looks better. So just take a few drops, um, just put like a few, couple of, dots under my eyes and then blend it out with my sponge it looks so much better than just 
applying it like I usually do. I just take the doe foot applicator and just kind of like go ham with it. So instead of doing that, just take a couple of like two to three dots and then blend it out and it looks so freaking good. Since it is a full coverage concealer, um, I mean, I can obviously do that because it's not gonna look too sheer on my skin. But yeah, a little bit of this goes a long way and I absolutely love it. It doesn't crease. It just looks good on the skin. So yes, been loving, loving, loving that. I didn't pull the next thing out because it's still in my vanity and you guys have heard me talk about this thing all the time. Every time I talk about makeup, I'm talking about it. It's the uh, Sephora Translucent Setting Powder. It's also what I have on my face right now. So if you've never heard me talk about the Sephora Translucent Setting Powder, it is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite loose powders. It does not give me flashback. It sets whatever concealer I have on my face beautifully. It doesn't make it crease. Like I have used so many different concealers and I'm always using that setting powder with it. And I have not come across not one concealer that it doesn't work well with. So I'll have it down below in the description if you guys um, are interested in that powder, but it's hands down one of my favorites and it is from the Sephora collection. Um, now, okay. Another product <laughs> that you guys have heard me talk about so freaking much, but it's my favorite and I use it all the time. And it literally goes with my everyday makeup looks, which is this Dior Powder No Powder. Y'all, this, we about to hit pan. You can see that. I mean, did we already hit pan? Nope, we haven't, but we are literally about to hit pan. This just shows you how much I love this powder. It is the best, I'm gonna go ahead and say it right now, the best pressed powder that I have in my collection, like pressed um, foundation powder. I mean, is this a foundation powder or is it just like a, um, well, it's a finishing powder, pretty much. It's not like, it's not gonna give you coverage like a foundation powder. Like, let's see, the um, Fenty Beauty Matte, y'all know the powder foundation from Fenty Beauty, that one gives you coverage. So it's not gonna give you that. It's gonna give you more of a really sheer natural finish. It's so pretty. It's pretty by itself. If you wanna have just a little bit of something on the face, but not like too much, this is good. But this is what I usually set my entire face with. So after I go in, um, I'm gonna have my tutorials down below so you guys can see my makeup application process. But hands down, one of my favorite powders and I just can't get enough of it, obviously as y'all can see. So this is still sitting in my vanity. I don't even remember the last time I took this out of my vanity and just kind of switched out and put it, something else in there. This is always, always, always in my vanity drawer and I just can't get enough of it. Oh, I have another setting powder, the Fashion Fair Iconic Pressed Powder. Now I know I was raving so much about the Dior powder, no powder, but this one has easily become another favorite of mine. It's not as good as the Dior powder, no powder though, but it's really, really, really good on the skin. This is another one that I've used for the first time with you guys on camera, but ever since then, I have been using it. So I don't have this one on today, I have the Dior on today, but this one is a powder that I can use if I don't wanna wear like on those days when I don't wanna put on bronzer, but I still want my skin to look a little warm, but at the same time, I can still use it all over the face to set my face. Does that make any sense? If you watch that video, you will see what I'm talking about. The one where, where I did like the full face of Fashion Fair, this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful powder, you guys. This is called Bold Bronze, by the way, so been loving that um let's talk about bronzer another product that i know i have talked you guys ears off with but it's good it's what i have on today and i love it and i just can't get enough of it and this is also another product that we are about to hit pan on which is the nanessa myricks cream bronzer <sighs> y'all uh, this is like I, every time I use this, I look in the mirror, I'm like, oh, this looks so good. It is the best cream bronzer that I've ever tried. Yes, girl, it is up there. Um, this is in the shade Deep. And when I say if you 
use a lot of this, it's gonna look very, very, very muddy on your face. So you wanna go in with a very light hand. And since we're talking about this, I wanna talk about a brush that I don't think I've shared with you guys yet. But it's a new brush. Well, it's new to me, cause I kinda want to just switch out, you know, a brush to use with my cream bronzers. So this one right here from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the brush I have been using and abusing for like any cream bronzer that I'm using. I've been using this and I don't know why it took me this long to try out any of their brushes. Actually, they sent me a package. That's girl. That's why I'm trying this out because they sent it to me. Um, but I like it. I like this brush and I like how it's not too um, fluffy or too soft to use with cream bronzers because you know some brushes is like too soft and it makes it kind of look a little streaky on the face, but this has been my jam, jam, jam. And this is actually the only brush that I've been using that's kind of like new to me. All the other brushes and like the makeup tools that I've been using have been the same. Like I haven't switched them out. So I'll also link that video down below because I have a whole video talking about all of my go-to favorite brushes, sponges, all of that. So. Everything you see in that video, I still to this day use those tools on my face. Like I haven't really switched them out unless they're too dirty to use. I just, you know, use a clean brush that I have in my collection. But I like this. I really, really, really like this with my Danessa Myers bronzer and also any other like cream bronzer. All right, let's talk about eyeshadow. This is where I feel like I don't really venture out because I'm always using the same things. I'm always using the same colors. I'm always using the same finishes, but that's because it's what I like. It's what I find more flattering on my eyes, which is matte eyeshadows. So this one, you guys have heard me talk about several times. You guys, you guys have seen me use several times, which is this ColourPop pressed, what is it? The pressed powder palette. This has been my go-to everyday palette, y'all. I even told y'all when I first opened this, because I did like a full face testing new products, in that video, I was like, ooh, this is gonna be my fall palette, and indeed it is. It is my everyday fall palette. I, y'all, look at this. Look at that color right there. We are about to hit pan on that, and this one right here. So, oop, not that one, hold on. This one, <laughs> my viewfinder has everything backwards, so it's kind of hard for me to look at the viewfinder and also point at the right thing. <laughs> but yeah, this color and oops, this color right here are the ones that I use the most, out of, and the black too, because I also like to kind of do like a little smoky eye. But this is so, so, so good. It's super pigmented. There is a little fallout on this though, like it does kind of get a little powdery um, when you put your brush in it, but. I mean, that doesn't really bother me, but as far as how it looks on the eyes, how it blends, how it just, uh, it's just, I just love it. <laughs> I love it. It's super affordable too. And I think I like it so much because this is the color story that I always reach for when I do my looks, whether that's when I'm not sitting in front of a camera or when I am sitting in front of a camera, I'm always, always, always reaching for at least this shade right here for like the transition shade. And the um, the orange color in here, it actually shows up a little bit darker on the eyes instead of, um, what am I talking about? It actually shows up a little bit darker on the eyes, which I like. So this also makes a really pretty transition shade um, in the crease or if you wanna do it all over the lid too. But yeah, this has been my go-to everyday palette that I keep in my vanity. And another one that has easily made its way back in my everyday makeup drawer, which is the Natasha Denona Safari palette. Y'all, is this discontinued? Cause I shared this in my, I think it was my fall makeup look that I did. And when I was trying to like get the links for you guys, I noticed I could not find this online. Like, what is this? What? Why would they discontinue this if it is discontinued? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Um, so yeah, this is just an all matte eyeshadow palette, which is right up my alley because I love all mattes. And I like the pigment of these shadows. They're so, so blendable, pigmented, and it's actually what I have on today. 
I have this on. Yes, so I have on the shade Voodoo, this purple color right here. And I actually mixed the color in with um, Tribe, this orange. So I just kind of took my brush and just went back and forth and then just packed it on the outer corner of my eye. And that's how come it looks like that. So you can see a little bit of the orange. Like I feel like if I look a certain way, like if I turn a certain way, <laughs> I can see the orange and I can also see the purple, but they're both mixed in together. So I really, really like that. And I also went in with um, this lighter shade right here to put on the inner corner of my eye but i have like y'all when i say i have so many tutorials on my channel that shows you how i do this type of eye i like i kid you not you will definitely find one of those like everyday natural looks on my channel but yeah these are the only two um eyeshadows that i have in my vanity right now that i reach for every time i do my makeup on the days when i don't want to wear eyeshadow i just go in with this dior powder no powder and i put it all over my lids and when i say that gives you the most beautiful natural everyday look so if you don't want to wear eyeshadow girl just go in with your powder either this it don't even have to be this it can be whatever powder that you use like whatever setting powder or go in with your bronzer and y'all know that is another one of my like everyday type of looks. Just go in with a little bit of bronzer, put it on the lid or in the crease and you are good to go. So, um, what's next? I feel like I've been talking <laughs> for so long. Okay, let's talk about, Oh, I forgot to talk about brow products. So I just ran out of the Huda brow pencil and that is hands down my favorite favorite brow pencil but I wanted to kind of you know lean more towards something different because I've been using that for a good minute now and I keep repurchasing it over and over and over so I went ahead and pulled out my Too Faced I use this quite a few times like what last month was it last month I think it was last month because that's when I first started using this and tried it out and stuff but it was okay but since I have it I figured why not go ahead and try to use it up. So it's the Too Faced Super Fine Brow, De uh, Brow Detailer Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. And I use the shade Espresso. So yeah, this brow pencil is it's pretty skinny for it to be like one of those slanted shaped brow pencils. I don't really care for those type of brow pencils, but for it to be so skinny, it's actually really, really nice. So yeah, y'all probably can't see that at all, but it's just, you know, just the slanted brow pencil. Um, and this is what I have on my brows today. And I mean, it's, it's, it's good. It's not like the best, but it's one of the products that I want to use up. So <laughs> that's why I have it in my vanity. Let's see how much we have left. Okay. So we have a little bit left, not too bad. I can definitely finish this up probably within the, I don't know, next few weeks or so, depending on how much I do my makeup. But yeah, and it comes with a little spoolie at the end. But yeah, I have so many of those Huda brow pencils in my like tucked away for like backups. So I just kind of wanted to, you know, Get away from that for a minute and then just use up what I've already started using, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Oh, y'all. Okay. I am not the biggest fan of brow gels or brow pomades, but y'all, this Kosas Air Brow Clear Brow Gel. Look at the cute packaging. It's so cute. But yeah. This is what I have been using when I'm not wearing any makeup, but I need to go somewhere. I know I don't really, I mean, I honestly don't even need to use this, but when I just want to have like a little bit of something, something to my brows, just a little bit to make them look at least presentable, even though I don't need to let, you know, why would I need to make them look presentable if I'm not wearing makeup and I'm just running to do errands? Girl. I just like it. It's good on my brows. My brows love it. And Kosas actually have 
products and uh, ingredients in their products that actually help um, with your brows and your eyelashes. So if you're wanting to have healthier brows, if you want them to grow healthier, or even with your eyelashes, I forgot what the ingredients was, but they have a mascara um, that also helps with, you know, the strength and the length of your natural lashes. So, um, but this has been really good on my brows and I kid you not, y'all, I arch my own brows. Like I never go to get them done professionally, but every time I arch them and when I use this, I feel like it like the uh what is it the fuzz the pe whatever you call it <laughs> when your your hair starts to grow back i feel like it grows faster when i'm using this for some reason so yeah whatever they have in this product it actually does help with um you know the health of your brows or just helping them grow and stuff like that so yeah this has been really really good on those days when i just don't want to do anything to my face, but I still want to at least groom my brows. This has been really, really nice. And I don't like to wear this when I actually have on brow pencil because I don't want to mess up the um, the little spoolie in it since it is clear and the packaging is really cute. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up because if I put it on right now, the brow pencil is going to come off on this. And when I put this in, it's just going to mess up. Like it's just going to start looking brown and I just, I just keep this and use it when I'm not wearing anything on my brows. We are almost done. Let's talk about mascara. This is the Sephora Size Up Volume Extra Large Mascara. So y'all, if you love the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, if you are one to always use that mascara, if you always repurchase that mascara, but you're tired of purchasing it because it's a little pricey, this, this is pretty much Too Faced better than sex. Like, it's just cheaper. The wand is just like the Too Faced better than sex mascara. It's thick. It helps keep my lashes looking long and voluminous, and it doesn't clump up on the lashes. I know some people say that the Too Faced mascara kind of makes the lashes look clumpy. This has been wonders on my lashes when I'm not wearing false lashes. Like I have the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest baby lashes. And this just makes them look more full, longer. I will say it's kind of a struggle to put it on my bottom lashes because they're so like, I barely have any, like I barely have any lashes altogether. But putting this on the bottom lashes is kind of a struggle because sometimes I kind of hit right up under there because the wand is so big but I like it it's what I have in my vanity drawer It's what I'm always using um today I have it on actually under my fake lashes and then I have a little bit on down there um but I like it I really do and it doesn't look like it just looks good on my lashes so this has been my everyday go-to mascara Patrick Ta gel eyeliners these have easily become my go-to favorite favorite gel eyeliners so this one i'm actually yeah i don't think i can get any more use i think i use the rest up today but it's the um, precision gel liner and it's in the shade black these are the creamiest 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 <laughs> eyeliners that i've ever ever gotten from sephora they are so creamy to wear when you put it on it's almost like you don't have to keep going back and forth you can just do one little swipe and you're good so yeah i have the black one i have this one right here which is in the shade um rich brown i love 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 me a dark chocolatey rich brown eyeliner because it looks so it looks just as good as black but it's not as harsh as a black liner so if you're wanting to wear a really pretty soft everyday look but you don't want to wear black eyeliner but you still want to wear eyeliner then i would recommend using a brown um eyeliner because it's not going to look as like harsh as a black liner but yes these super creamy 
very easy to apply and they have become my holy grails. I can go ahead and put this black one in um, my empties pile, which I have an empties video coming up pretty soon for you guys. But yes, love, love, love those. Um, we're down to the last few things, which are lip products. Now, <laughs> I have used and tried so many different lip products, but I always reach for the same ones, even though I have like so many. These right here are the ones that I keep in my vanity right now. And I also take them out. Like if I'm going somewhere, I just need to, you know, throw them in my purse. These are all also the ones that I put in my purse. So recently I've been using this from Danessa Myricks. It's the uh, Super Fix Glaze, but this is the clear shade. So I don't know if you guys remember, but I used to rave, rave, rave about these from Danessa Myricks. I use um, the shade Cupcake which is like a really pretty natural pink. It's almost like my lips, uh, my lips, but better. Um, and I've actually featured that in my, I think it was like my top favorite pink natural lip colors. It was earlier this, uh, earlier this year, but this one I've been wanting to try, uh, well not try, but I've been wanting the clear one cause I already know how the formula is. I um, picked this up from Sephora not too long ago. And first off, the packaging is super cute. Look at the top adorable but the only thing I don't like about this is the tip of it so it's kind of you would have to either put it on your finger or like a if you have like a little plastic applicator or you can I mean you could put it on your lips directly on your lips like that but you have to rub it in with your finger because the applicator I mean it's not even an applicator it's just like a tip but um I like this because it's not sticky. This is great on top of anything that I'm wearing on my lips. So like right now, if I want a little bit more shine, but I don't want another color on top, I can just go in with this. And this is just, it's just gonna make my lips look super glossy, really juicy, and it's not sticky at all. And it doesn't really have, actually, yeah, these don't have a scent. So there you go. I know some of you don't like your lip products that have a scent. Danessa Myricks. Now these you can actually use on your face too. So if you want to put it on your cheeks or your eyes. I know some people like to rock that glossy eye look. Um, you can use this on that. She has a ton of different colors. I just wanted to pick up the clear one because, I mean, you can't go wrong with the clear gloss. You can wear it alone. You can wear it on top of whatever else you want to put on your lips. So definitely been loving this and this is just actually this is the only clear gloss that i keep in my vanity right now and i love it so love love um oh this from merit now i know i mentioned this in a favorites video but that just goes to show how much i love their products well their lip products this is their lip oil tinted lip oil and it's in the shade taupe so this has become my everyday lip oil this one and the clear one that they have i think the clear one is called um bel air so yeah and both that one and this one made it into a favorites video that i filmed and uploaded not too long ago but yeah this shade in particular has become my everyday like when i want to put on color on my lips but i don't want it to look too pigmented and i don't want it to look or feel as thick as a lip gloss. This is what I've been reaching for. This is one of the products that I would just throw in my purse. It's just always in my vanity. If I'm not having it in my purse, it's just a good lip oil and they are super comfortable on the lips too. So I'll give you guys a little swatch of this if you haven't seen it. Really pretty. This is the uh, new shade in their collection, so. If you're familiar with their lip oils, they have new shades if you didn't know. So yeah, love, love that. And then this gloss that I know I have talked you guys' ears off <laughs> about. It's the Buxom Gloss in the shade Spiced Vanilla. Spiced Vanilla Latte. Y'all, this is my fall lip gloss. And I told y'all that. And I have been wearing this, using and abusing it. I don't have it on today. Today I have on something else that I'm gonna show you, but this gloss right here. Only thing I hate about Buxom is the applicator because not, not a lot of the product comes off or out on the applicator, so you have to keep dipping it in there to get their product out. So I just wanna show y'all the color. This is how she looks. Really pretty, look at that color, y'all. It's so pretty, like so 
fall appropriate. It's, it smells good, first of all. <laughs> it smells so good. It smells just like, like spiced vanilla latte. It smells just like it. Um, but this color is so pretty worn with a brown lip liner and that's pretty much what I wear it with. I'm gonna show you the lip liners that I've been wearing with it, but it's so pretty y'all. So freaking pretty, but yes, love that. And it also has like a cooling sensation on the lips. Um, another gloss that I keep in my vanity and I also throw in my purse if I'm going anywhere is this one from Chanel. It's in the shade, I think it's called Caramel. Every time I pull this out and talk about it, I'm always like, I think it's called Caramel because they don't have the shade on the sticker at the bottom, but they do have the shade on the actual box that it comes in. But um, the number is 716. So this again is like a nice everyday type of lip color and that's, y'all know, that is what I love. Something that's pretty and natural and everyday-ish. So that is what it looks like right there. Really pretty, everyday, rosy pink, and I love it. I like the Chanel glosses because they're not sticky, they're not too thick, and they just feel so buttery on the lips. It's almost like the um, um, NYX Butter Glosses. The Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the NYX Butter Glosses. Um, but it's not as sheer as the NYX Butter Glosses, but they feel like the butter glosses from NYX but yes love love her and I can't get enough of that gloss okay before we talk about the lip pencils I want to talk about what I'm wearing today on the lips it's new to me and it is the Fashion Fair lipsticks now when I did the video I did not feature any of the lipsticks I even said in the video that I was thinking about getting the lipsticks but I feel like I didn't need any but y'all I went in Sephora and I saw these on display and I was shook with these shades so this the one that I have on right now is Koi and I actually wear I'm actually have a uh, <laughs> and I actually have it on with a um, lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury which I'll show you in a few minutes but this is let me take some of this off my hand first Okay, yeah, so Koi, this color is, first of all, these are butter. Like, this is literally a butter stick. It is so creamy, but this is Koi. And y'all can kind of tell what type of lip color I like just off of the ones I show. I know some of them look similar, but I promise you, they are different. <laughs> But that's Koi, is really, really pretty and soft and natural. I mean, y'all can see it on my lips, so pretty. I noticed with these, like it goes on really, really creamy, but it's not like super shiny on the lips. It's very natural and I like that. I like, so yeah, that's Koi. And the top is actually magnetic, which is really nice. Almost like the one, Kind of like the ones from NARS, uh, the NARS lipsticks. And this is the other one that I absolutely love. This color is beautiful. Like this is another shade that's right up my alley, right there. So pretty, pretty for the fall. These are just so creamy, y'all. Very, very creamy, comfortable. They don't feel like they don't dry out the lips. It's just a nice, everyday color. I've been wearing Koi the most, but this, these two shades really stood out to me when I saw them on display. Um, and they also have other shades, but I really like the, like the nudes cause that's like right up my alley. But yes, loving, loving, loving those lipsticks. And I feel like I'm going to be wearing those a lot. Now let's talk about the lip pencils and then we will be done. So I have four lip pencils. Now these are going to look similar y'all. <laughs> but they're good. I use them all the time. They have gotten short because <laughs> I've been using and abusing them. Let me talk about the drugstore ones first and then we'll talk about the other two. Elf Cosmetics, y'all. This is the one in collaboration with Tiana, Tiana Major. <sighs> they did it with this. They have another lip kit that has a lip pencil that I used 
so much. And I know y'all know which one I'm talking about. Mine is like this tiny because I use it so much. I love it so much. I actually have a backup, but um, it's the Paradise Retro Paradise Lip Set. But y'all, they came out with another one. And this one is a little bit darker than the one that I used to always use. This is the best chocolate brown, well, one of the best chocolate brown lip pencils that I have run across in the drugstore and that I have run across from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Y'all know they don't really make lip pencils like that. And when they do, they are a little light. But this one, they did it with this lip pencil and it goes on really smooth too. So it's not too stiff like the the ones from MAC Cosmetics because those are a little dry, but this one goes on really easily. So love, love, love. And I recently discovered another chocolate lip pencil from the drugstore, which is this one from L'Oreal. It's called the Age Perfect Lip Liner, and this is in the shade ch um, Dark Chocolate. This is another really pretty cream. Oh, it's so creamy. It's like the ColourPop lip pencils. So freaking creamy. It's a little bit like a tad bit warmer than the one from e.l.f. Cosmetics. I don't even know if you guys can see a difference, but it's a little different. <laughs> it's a little different. It's a tad bit warmer, but they're both beautiful, beautiful, beautiful brown lip pencils. I have been using these so freaking much. Now, the one I have on today is, okay, it's not these, but I have on this one from Charlotte Tilbury. Y'all know, well, if y'all have been watching my, um, well, recent videos, because I know I have raved about this, I went ahead and purchased two more of these because I love this color. It's the Lip Cheat in the shade Foxy Brown. First off, I didn't know that Charlotte Tilbury had a lip pencil that I could wear that's actually brown. That's not like pink or red. This, this is it. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. It is the most beautiful, natural, soft, everyday brown. Look at that. It's so pretty, y'all. And when I put it on, like it doesn't look, it's not too light. It is the most prettiest, natural brown it's almost the color of my natural lip line but it's darker a little bit darker not like too too dark it is so pretty <laughs> i love it and i i just can't get enough of it so i have on this with koi on my lips today um the last lip pencil that is an oldie but goodie but i always keep it in my vanity and i'm always reaching for it if i'm not reaching for these <laughs> is this one from mac cosmetics it's in the shade cork i mean obviously you guys know you can see how much i love this pencil because these are pretty long like mac lip pencils are about this long <laughs> But let me show you what Cork looks like next to um, Charlotte Tilbury because they do look really, really, really similar. Cork is, you can see it right there at the end. It's almost spot on to be honest. <laughs> but they're different. I feel like they're different in a way and I just love it. I love Charlotte Tilbury is much smoother. Like it goes on smoother than the one from MAC, because remember I said MAC, they feel a little dry on the lips, but I like it, and I just can't get enough of these four lip pencils. But yes, girl, those are my current favorite, like, everyday go-to makeup products, and yeah, I think that's it. So um, let me know if I shared anything in this video that you guys have tried. If you have, what are your thoughts on the products? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know down below in the comments. Let's talk about it. But yes, that is it. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Give me a huge thumbs up if you did. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.